Welcome everyone. Today's presentation will cover Bista's very own project-based manufacturing solution. So if you are a company that typically has to design a customer's products by introducing or revising a bill of materials or process, or if you simply follow a set of project tasks before you can create and complete a manufacturing order, then this is probably a relevant demonstration for you to view. Okay, let's begin the demo. Firstly, we're gonna go into the project's application, as this is where we will set up the project template which you'll find under configuration and project type. Okay, I'm gonna use this simple plastic molding manufacturing template because it's only got five tasks, but in reality, based on the type of product you're manufacturing, you might have dozens of project-based tasks, which might have related operations like manufacturing orders, purchase orders, approvals, um, ECOs, and so forth. Okay, but for the sake of the demo, we're gonna look at this one right here, plastic molding manufacturing, which I have open up. And we're gonna talk about the template before we move on to creating a sales order and a manufacturing order. So here you can see sequence of five related tasks to this template. And each task is essentially a process and it's given a name. So we have a design related task, an ECO releasing a bill of materials task, a manufacturing and process task, and then a quality check task. Tasks can have followers. Those can be assigned to specific individuals who might have a role to complete the task. Task could be a main task or it could be a subtask. So there's a parent and child hierarchy. And then we can specify whether tasks are dependent on one another or if we can run them in parallel. And the final part is what type of task is it? Is it a standard project task where you just want to enter in a description of work and timesheets? Or is that task going to allow you to create an engineering change order, manufacturing order, purchase order, or some sort of approval, whether it's customer related or internal? Okay, let's go ahead and create a quote or sale order, and we're gonna add this template on there. So I'm gonna select a customer. Let's use the Jackson Group. And this is the most important part for project-based manufacturing to continue and trickle through the rest of the Odoo system. We must add the template on the quotation. When I add the template, we now have access to a project process and project details where we will specify when we want to finish the project and the system will prompt us with the latest day we should start it. If I want to end the project on the 30th of September, I must start no later than the 20th of September. Let's add a product. Okay, I'm going to save. And we also have access to the raw materials. Okay, once I confirm this, some smart tabs will appear. I have a delivery related to my sale order 161 and a project overview. And the project is sale order 161, and it's tied to our plastic molding manufacturing template. I have access to the project process, my raw materials, any settings of the project, like the project manager, customer details, timesheets, and then whether or not we can access our documents from here, all related tasks, profitability report, timesheets recorded, and any forecasted hours. Project is a new stage right now. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly confirm it, which will move it to in progress. And it's gonna launch our tasks, five of them, one of which is a portal task. So let's go in here and see the project stages. So I have a pipeline, blue task is our customer task, and then the red ones down here are internal processes for us to complete. So we're gonna quickly move the first one into in progress. I'm gonna quickly open up a new incognito window. And we're going to pretend to sign in as a customer so we can complete the task. Okay, I'm going to go into the projects tab. That's our project 161. Five tasks related to the project. Customer can see that this one in blue is assigned to him, Gordon. We're going to click into this. We're going to click approve. And we can even write a little message. Okay, so now this task is complete, let's go ahead and close this window. And I'm going to move this to a done stage. The next task is our ECO. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to click edit. I'm going to create a related ECO. Okay. It's a design improvement or a revision. I'm gonna apply it on the bill of materials. Let's select the product. 
I can specify when I want this to become effective. I'm going to select immediately. We're going to close this. I'm now going to assign this to me. And I'm just going to save it real quick. We're going to come in here. And actually, let's add in some timesheet entries so we can view it in the profitability report. Okay, I'm going to go to the PLM, refresh the page. Three engineering changes. The new one is ours right here. I'm going to move it to in progress. We're going to go in here. I'm going to start the revision. I see that my related task in the project is tied to my ECO 39. We're on revision number 10 for the product. And any drawings or documents related to the ECO can be attached right here as well. So we'll go in here. I'm just going to quickly update my bill of materials quantity. I've added 100 grams, but if I wanted to, I can come in here and change or add the routing, anything related to the process like quality steps, the work centers, and the duration. And let's go back to our ECO, move it to invalid, move it to validated. I could track my changes from right here, apply the changes, and it's effective. Okay, so we've gone ahead and completed the ECO task. I'm going to go back to my project and I'm going to say this task is done. Let's go back to the tasks. This one is a quick regular project task. So we're just going to say we've gone ahead and released the manufacturing order. This is the one that will create the manufacturing order. So I'm going to click into this one. I'm going to edit it, assign it to me. I'm going to create the MO. It's going to trigger a smart tab there in the right corner. I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to fill out my plan date for production, which I'll say is today. And I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna confirm it. Okay, as soon as I confirm it, it moves to confirm state right here. And now I'm just gonna quickly plan, check availability of my raw materials. It's become available and it's reserved. And I have access to my work orders. So we're gonna start the work orders one by one. I have big bold buttons if I need to pause, block, scrap, add a component, buy product, issue a quality alert, or maybe my machinery is down and I need to issue a maintenance request to the maintenance team. All of this is at my fingertips in the production view. I'm going to mark this as done. And we're going to move on to the next task or work order. New worksheet pulls up related to the work order. Timer is moving in real time. I'm going to mark this as done. And we're going to move to the third one. Mark it as done. And then the fourth one, zip through. We're going to mark this as done and now close the manufacturing order. So as soon as I close it, you'll see that there's no longer any work orders sitting here for us. And if I go back to my project, I can go here and I can see that my manufacturing task has automatically moved into the done stage. So it was in progress. We completed and closed the MO. And without us having to touch anything, this MO task in the project has now gone into done or completed. Last task, let's go and issue a quality check in our delivery. I'm going to go in here. I'm just going to refresh the page. Sale order 161 transfer is outgoing 125. I'm going to do the quality check. I'm going to pass it, I'm going to validate, hit apply, and we've pushed this out of our warehouse. So we just took an order, we created a manufacturing order, we built the product, then we went ahead and we shipped it. So I'm going to do a couple of things before we wrap up the demo. I'm now going to go back to my sale order. And just for the simplicity's sake, I'm just going to create a draft invoice from here. And then we're going to jump into our accounting dashboard. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna refresh this, and I have items that I need to validate. So I'm gonna come in here as an accountant, click on this, and I can see project 161 right here. So I'll come in here, I'll confirm this to post it. I have access to my journal items right here. I'm gonna register the payment and create the payment. And it's done, in payment. So I'm gonna go here quickly, and I'm gonna create some timesheet journal entry, I'm going to select two dates and we're going to see our project entries that we created from that one task we 
added timesheets to. Here we go. Project 161, post, and we're done. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go to two places. I'm just gonna move this right here. I'm gonna go back to my project dashboard, and I'm gonna show you profitability report. Okay, I have my sale order amount, my invoice amount, the paid amount, production cost, my timesheet cost, gives me my profit, okay? The only other thing I want to show you is in manufacturing. Once we completed the order, we also had some tabs related to cost analysis. So we have our cost of raw materials, cost of operations, which is the work center costing. And then we also have cost of labor, which is based on the resource that's working at the work center. So all of this will give you your unit cost, which will tie back into the profitability report that we saw a second ago, okay? So that is the demo. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope it was informative and we hope to see you soon. Thank you.